What's up guys, got some Infinite Warfare beta gameplay for you today. Managed to get on the beta yesterday and play a few games before I went to bed. What a complete shit show that was though. The beta started off seven hours late. Which wouldn't be a big deal if they gave us like an ETA or some sort of update saying, Hey guys, it's going to take a little bit longer. The beta should be up by this time. Didn't do that at all. So I sat there at, at home for seven hours waiting for this fucking thing to come up. And oh, what is what a fucking nightmare. People are so pissed. So what are my initial thoughts on Infinite Warfare? The game is okay. And that's... That's all I'll say. The game is okay. But the problem with it just being okay is that there's a lot of competition this year. You've got Battlefield 1, which looks amazing. That's getting ready to come out. You've got Overwatch, which is amazing. You've got Gears of War 4, uh, Titanfall 2, CSGO. There's tons of really amazing FPS games out right now. And for this game to just be okay is kind of a death sentence for it. Uh, there's some problems with the game that at least I think are problems. It's one of those things where I'm hesitant to say it's a problem. I'll oh, watch this aimbot. Dude, I got I got an aimbot moment coming up here in a second. Watch this. Watch me snap onto these two guys here in a second. I'm gonna come around this corner. Look at this. Watch this. Boom. Snap! <laughs> snap onto that guy. Double kill. You ever do something like that where you're like, I hope they don't ban me. Like, especially on PC, like shooters where you'll you'll snap onto two guys perfectly and it's just it's almost luck. Like it's a combination of luck and muscle memory. Um, that always feels good when you do that. But so, Advanced, or Advanced War, I, dude, they gotta stop it with the names, dude. The, the branding has got out of control. It's so easy to get these games mixed up. Advanced Warfare, and Infinite Warfare, Infinity Warfare. Uh, fuck, Jesus, dude. It's getting crazy. So, um, my biggest issue with this game is that the maps are so random. Um, I'm playing, the, this is a, this is a diamond in the rough game for me, um, when it comes to consistency like this 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 gameplay might make you think that you can play like this every game and just consistently like beast on people if you know the maps and all that stuff not really there are a few spots on certain maps that are really good like this is a really good spot to hold down with an lmg which is what i'm doing but the maps are so random uh compared to other call of duty games where i can just run around and just kind of know where people are coming from and consistently do well every single time. The maps are so random in this. There's a million corners, a million flank routes, a million ways for people to come. Uh, the, the, the maps just aren't designed for good players to do well. And that's something that they have been doing to Call of Duty every single year. With the exception of Black Ops 2. Black Ops 2 was a game where good players could just fucking destroy people. Um, with the exception of that, it seems like every year they've just they've tried to nerf the good players. And... This iteration, man, the map design is either terrible or intentionally designed like this to just cause chaos, make the game random, and when you make the game random, that inherently makes bad players better. So I don't like that at all. Uh, that The one map that really sh tells it to me, the one map that really makes me worry for the future of COD is that Frontier map. That Frontier map, which is the spaceship map, which you might have seen some gameplay of, is is bad. It is really bad. And if that's the kind of design, if that's the kind of map design they're aiming for with COD, then they're just no longer making this game for players like me. I'm a player that likes to play COD to go on these massive kill streaks. I don't have fun playing COD going 2-for-1 two, two or 3-for-1. I have fun playing COD going 50-0. and 0. I have the only time I'm having a really good time with COD is if I am on some retardedly massive kill streak shitting on everybody. And I don't play COD to run in and die. Get a kill die. Get a kill die. I don't play for that. I'll play another game for that. So yeah, that has me a little worried. The map design has me a little worried. The game doesn't have anything spectacular about it, but it's not bad. It's not bad, but it's just not great. And there's a lot of really good competition this year. Uh, I am really looking forward to Battlefield 1. I will continue to play the Infinite Warfare beta for the next, uh, well, today and tomorrow. And then Battlefield 1 is going to come out, and I, I don't know if I'll play the second weekend. Battlefield 1 is looking pretty dope, let's be real. Um, so, my thoughts, meh. Meh. Maybe it'll grow on me a little bit more. Maybe the maps won't seem as random as they are with more time played, but I really don't think so. You look at a map like Frontier, and it's just like... I don't know how much more play time I can have on that thing for it to, to, to get consistency. It's just, it's too random. 
so much so much randomness. It, this could be a decent game if the maps were a little better. So what do you guys think? Hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you next time.